friends, Robin here with Matt Man and Robin. Today we have a haul from Walmart's clearance section. Most of these items are going to be toys. All of these items are for a charity called Operation Christmas Child, where we collect items all year long to put into shoebox sized gifts that go to underprivileged children around the world. So if you're new to this channel, that's what all of this is about, but I am going to be diving into items from Walmart. Um, I do have a lot of really fun toys to go through, but first I wanted to get to some items that most all of us put in our boxes. No pressure here. If you don't include these items, that is totally up to you. I just wanted to do them first so that you can be on the lookout for them because these are things that most everyone puts in a shoebox. So the first item here um, are these ivory soaps. Now I did get these on clearance. I believe it is because someone opened the package and took out a soap, but that's okay because these are all individually um, wrapped. And I really love ivory soaps for that reason. Um, so this is, the bar itself is completely wrapped. I love using these soaps because they aren't in a big bulky box. So the only space in the shoebox that it is taking up is the soap shape itself, but it is still in its original packaging, which is recommended by Sumeritan's Purse, um, which is the leader of the um, collections for the shoeboxes. Uh, I really also like ivory because the soap floats. So if this child that um, is using the soap drops their soap in any sort of water, it will float and be easier for them to find. Um, these soaps are usually uh, like $4.30, but I got them for $3.29, making them about 36 cents per bar of soap. I think that's great. And until Sumeritan's Purse says otherwise, I'm going to continue to include these in my shoe boxes in the original wrapping. So that is how I am going to move forward this year with shoe box packing. The other thing that I think most of us include, um, my fur babies are playing in the living room. So if it's loud, I'm sorry. The other thing I think most of us include in our shoe box packing are composition notebooks or spiral notebooks. And I really, really love these. Um, these are the different patterns that I found um, for clearance. I think this one is gorgeous and will go with any type of mermaid or um, rainbow or unicorn theme, any, any theme this will go great with. And then this specific no prama llama, um, no problama, sorry. <laughs> I will have several llama boxes going. I don't know how many I'll get to make this year, but I picked up several of these. So at back to school season, um, these kinds of composition notebooks are my favorite because they bend so well in the boxes, but they still pop back without creases like the cardboard ones. Both work great. I just prefer these. Um, at back to school time, the plain ones, which are solid on both sides, are about 67 cents. And the ones with these really cute designs on them are like 97 or 98 cents, so basically a dollar. And right now, they were scanning 50 cents. There was only one in the clearance section, and I scanned it, and I was like, oh my goodness. So I went to the school supply section, which in my Walmart is in the back, um, with uh, other crayons and markers and pens and pencils. So kind of in the office section as well. And these were all ringing up for 50 cents. So I bought several of them. Um, they're really great quality. I love putting these in boxes and we'll pick them up at a dollar or at 67 cents, but even better at 50 cents. So be on the lookout for these guys. Um, another thing that I think maybe I got duped on, but that's okay is um, notebook paper. There were big boxes of them on the clearance aisle and um, I picked up only one college rule and the rest are wide rule. I prefer wide rule because these are for children. 
Um, however, they um, only had a few of these, so I did pick up one of these. Um, they rang up for 87 cents, and I thought that was a good deal, um, especially when it's not back to school season, just needing some notebook paper. What I do with these, I think I got this from D. Rogers. Uh, Denise with D. Rogers is her YouTube channel. I take 10 to 20 pages, I don't count, I just take a stack that's about that many and roll them up and put them in a um, toilet paper tube and send them in as filler for Operation Christmas Child for them to put into some empty boxes. So, I picked up several of these. Um, I did look them up online and Walmart says that they are normally $3.99 for 150 pages, but I think that's crazy. I've never ever seen them marked that. I think they're regularly 84 cents, so I don't think I got a super good deal, but they were on the clearance aisle and reminded me I needed some anyway, so that's what I picked up. And the last thing in this, like everything that a lot of us put in our boxes, I picked up some cups. Um, these cups, they are fall cups. See the celebrate fall and the designs are all, they have like pumpkins and it says pumpkin spice and hello fall, but they're really brightly colored. They ring up 10 cents. So four cups for 10 cents makes them like 2.5 cents a piece and I couldn't leave them there. I will um, include them in probably teenage girl, teenage girl. Girl boxes aged 10 to 14. I call them teenage girl boxes even though they're not all teenagers. <laughs> so be on the lookout for off-season cups, random things. This also was not on the clearance aisle. It was actually on the party aisle. Um, I went down there just to kind of see if anything was out of place and here these were and I scanned them. On the back there's the barcode and they rang up 10 cents so in my cart they went. The next thing I want to show you guys, I'm so excited. Um, these are items for sewing kits. And in the past, I've just kind of purchased a sewing kit from Dollar Tree, which is more like a mending kit. Um, I have not fully invested in putting together a really good quality sewing kit. So this year is my first year to do that. Um, for a couple reasons. One, I saw Trish from um, Bird Feed is her channel. She showed us how she is putting together her sewing kits. And also my cousin Marla um, through my Amazon wish list sent me some really good quality measuring tapes. So I need to put together some items to go with those to go in my boxes, again, for girls probably 10 to 14, maybe in a few of my five to nine boxes, and maybe even a few I will send in as filler. Um, so, I'm just gonna get right to the wow item in this little section. It's these sewing kits I found in the clearance aisle. They're amazing. They were $1.37, originally marked down here for $5. And uh, they have some really great things in them. Let me see here, I will read to you what is in it. Um, it has this little pin cushion up here, this pair of scissors, it has a seam ripper, which is over here, there's the seam ripper. It has a thimble also on this side. Um, the, a tape measure which you can see it peeking out down here, and it is the really good um, plastic kind, not paper. It has a set of buttons, 40 buttons, 30 hand needles. Where are those needles? Oh, okay. In this little round thing here, there's needles. Um, 13 safety pins, which are kind of just pulled right here and 10 spools of thread, which is right here, these 10. What it did not mention is there is also, right here, a um, 
needle threader is also included. So I thought this was really, really great. Even at $5, this seems great. But for $1.37, I picked up three of these. There was a pink one and a green one and this purple one. It's going to be perfect for my purple butterfly box. And I am so grateful to get this. These are going to serve as kind of a template for what I'm going to try to include in my homemade sewing kits going forward. I won't be able to come close to this price for $1.37 by any means, but I think I can get close to the under $5 that these were originally. So um, let me show you some other items I picked up to help with that. I picked up this set of needles for $1.16. I picked up this set of pins, and I got several of these. I'm just showing you one of them. I also picked up several of these straight pins for $1.08. There were, there's 350 pieces in this little plastic container, which is a really good box. Here, I'll pop it out and show you. It's a really nice container. Um, and then I picked up these safety pins and in here are several different sizes my plan is to break them up into several sets and, and include these in not just sewing kits but I'm gonna try to include these in a lot of boxes um, so this was 200 pieces for one dollar and then I found two of these seam rippers here for one dollar so I think I am well on my way. The last thing that I picked up were some more fat quarters. There were so many there. I could have spent $50 on fabric um, in just fat quarters, but I restrained myself. I just picked up four of each, each of these designs. So this is the first one and it's pink flowers. I'll open it and give you a little bit more of an idea of what the pattern looks like really beautiful pattern. Um, I paid 25 cents per fat quarter. So this was a quarter, a quarter for a quarter. Then the other girl one that I got was this. I love this color. This is my favorite color, by the way. I don't know, what do you call it? Some people call it seafoam green. I call it teal. It kind of just whatever falls under. But there's this fabric. I picked up four of these for a quarter each. And then these next two were the closest to boy fabrics that they had, so I picked up four of each of these. This one is kind of like a forest animal scene with foxes and raccoons and hedgehogs and trees. And then this one is just straight foxes. So I thought it was really, really pretty. A green background with those pretty orange foxes. So that is everything I picked up for sewing kits or fabric, however you wanna look at it, <laughs> that was that. The rest of this haul is all, mainly all toys. Um, I'll show you one more thing that is not a toy, but is really cool, are these, a toy just hit the ground and went rolling. These, um, what are they, dry erase, boards that's what we'll call them dry erase boards the cool thing about these is they do say that they are self-adhesive wall decor um there are four hexagons in each box and they were um two dollars and 49 cents which makes each board come out to be 62 cents i did take a couple of them out so i could show you here are um, one of the sets is just this with a pink swatch on it. And then the other set have this black and white. This one says, don't forget. Um, the other ones in that set, they say daily quote, must do and goals. So see I wrote on here 62 cents each. Uh, but this is what they look like. And it, the set does come with a pin. So I wanted to sort of test it out with you and see Here's the pin. It looks very similar to a Dollar Tree dry erase marker with an eraser on top. I'm just gonna write 
it works, works pretty well. Now let's try to erase it so you can see the quality. Oh yeah, works really good. Just boop, 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 and it's gone and done. Um, this is what the adhesive looks like on the back, so there's no really telling that it is an adhesive. Um, but I will include a dry erase marker and an eraser with each set of these, whether I put them in a box or send them in as filler. Either way, they will have um, dry erase markers going with them. Now everything else is toys, I promise, it's all toys. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this adorable baby doll. Um, this was not on the clearance aisle. It, it was just laying out in the regular toy aisle, but it did have this sticker on it for $3.50. And he is usually $7.88. I do think that he usually comes with something maybe a bottle or a pacifier, because there's this string, I left it in there to show you that something is usually attached right here, but the string just comes right out and it's not damaged at all. So there's nothing wrong with this precious baby. I think he's just missing a bottle or a pacifier or something that typically came with him. So I got him for more than half off. So, so cute. The next thing I got is this amazing Batman. Um, he was $6, still more than I like to pay for a WOW item. I do like to stay in that three to $5 range, but boy items are very hard to find, especially these full-sized action figures, especially action figures that you're familiar with, that are licensed and universally recognized so I did go ahead and say he was worth it he's close to half off he was originally ten dollars so I feel like you know paying 60% for him is a-okay in my book there were more but I did only pick up one the next thing that I got was an Elsa doll I am working on some frozen boxes so uh, they did have an Anna there and I could have picked her up, but there were just so many other things that were um, trying to take my budget. So I had to pick and choose what to buy and what to leave there. I will say that this haul is from two days. I went to Walmart on Valentine's Day. Um, I can't remember why I went. Anyway, and while I was there, I scoped out kind of like um, checking out what was available in the Valentine's section and of course anytime I'm in Walmart I walk down the clearance aisle and then I went back on February 15th which was yesterday to actually pick up clearance Valentine's items and while I was there I went back through the clearance regular Walmart clearance looking for these items so that's how I found these they are from three different Walmarts in um, the Dallas Fort Worth area so just kind of informing you on where these all came from and how I found them. The next thing that I was so excited about, and this is why I did not pick up another Batman or the Anna to go with the Elsa, is because I found this amazing set of magnets. Um, this is the Spark brand, which I believe is a Walmart in-house Walmart brand. Um, it was originally $10, so I got this 50% off, and I paid $5. Um, the reason that I decided to go ahead and pay $5 for this is because there are 131 pieces in here. And when you look back here, it tells you that there are numbers and letters and animals. And when you look at the animals, it seems like there are um, farm animals and jungle animals. So in my mind's eye, I will be able to make four sets of magnets out of this. There will be an alphabet, a number, farm animals, and uh, jungle animals, which means that this would be comparable to something that I would pay for at Dollar Tree. Now that things are $1.25, if I can get four sets out of something for $5, it's just like I purchased it at Dollar Tree. So um, I think this is a really great quality, and each magnet ends up being about three cents which is amazing and well worth it. And I probably will be able to get more than four sets out of this, but I know for certain there will be at least four.
four. So I'm really excited to, to bust into these and split them up. Um, the next thing is really fun. I like to find, to get these when I can. It is a backpack clip and I think it was a back to school item um, and it was on clearance for $1.40. These are typically like $2.80 something, so about $3.00. So I'm getting this for pretty much half off, and I will include this in a um, a box that has a soccer theme, but if I can't fit a, a regulation size soccer ball, then this will be um, a fun stuffy to have. These guys are so much fun. Um, these are definitely for toddler boxes. They were originally $5. I would never pay $5 for this. Um, but I did pick them up for 75 cents. There was one more there. It was a cute bunny, but I left the bunny there um, A because I feel like I wanted more items for boy boxes and B because she was still a dollar 25 and I would rather pick these two up for 75 cents What these are this is a mega block, which is a Lego But when you push the character down it plays peekaboo with you so I got this little busy bee here, and I'm working on a bug box, um, which will probably be for a boy. So this bee will go in the bug box for a boy. <laughs> and then this one is a tiger, and he will go in a safari box. So much fun, these guys are so much fun. Here are the different um, characters to be on the lookout for. Right here there is a, um, a whale or a shark. I can't tell what it is. Um, the tiger, which we have. A monkey, which I've never seen. A little dinosaur or a dragon. And a lammy. And then this one also shows a cow and a fox and a frog. So there are lots of these little guys out there. Be on the lookout. Please don't pay $5 for them because uh, they go on clearance annually. You will be able to pick these up at least once a year. Um, the next thing I found, I did show in a previous Walmart haul, were these Play-Doh guys, but I picked them up for a dollar last time, and now they're ringing up 50 cents each. Um, this is the same set that I got last time. One has a mermaid and one has a unicorn, along with the Play-Doh, but I was really excited to find this next set because there is a shark, and I do have a shark box, and there is a dragon, and he's even red, and I'm working on a red dragon box. So I was really excited to find especially these, but I couldn't leave these behind for 50 cents. So again, these were hanging on the sides of the, um, just the regular toy aisles. So don't forget to look at the hanging toys because that's where I find a lot of my clearance items. The next thing I want to show you, this is pretty amazing. This is a Thomas the Train, and you want to find the single Thomas by himself colored like this. And he rang up for 10 cents at one of my Walmarts. Um, and the new one, the new Thomas is very colorful. He has like a very colorful paint job on the side. So you want to find the traditional Thomas. The next Walmart I went to, I scanned him and they had already like priced him out of their system. Meaning that when I scanned it, Walmart said it didn't exist. So when I went to the um, uh, the checkout, I asked the lady, I was like, at, at my other Walmart, it rang up 10 cents. I can go get my receipt and show you. And she was like, oh, I can't do that for 10 cents. Let me ask my manager. So the manager came up and he was like, no, no, those are $2. Those are not 10 cents. And she told him, well, the lady said, and look, it's ringing up as not in our system. And he was like, uh, it's not in the system? She was like, no. And he was like, well, then we can't sell it at all. Which usually I worked in retail for about two seconds. If it doesn't ring up, that means legally they're not allowed to sell it and they're supposed to, um, like loss prevention claim it. I don't know the right words, but they're supposed to do something with those items and they're not allowed to sell them. But he just kind of 
winked at me and said Merry Christmas and set them on the counter and walked away. So I did get two of these guys for absolutely free. Um, all of that to say that it does not hurt to ask. Just always ask and be sure to tell them it's for charity. So he might have had to do some paperwork in the back and say that he gave these away. I don't know what the protocol is, but I did pay 10 cents for one and I got two for free. So I'll take that any day. Also, another tip I have, um, these are LOL sunglasses. They did have this clearance tag for $3, but I turned it over and I scanned the back and they rang up for $1. So I picked up these sunglasses. I'm not the biggest fan of LOL, just personally. I have nothing against, there's no reason. There's nothing wrong with them. I just am not a fan and I don't normally do LOL items, but I really thought these sunglasses were cute. They have little fake eyelashes on the side and I think a little girl will really like them. So I picked them up for $1. The last item I'm gonna show you, I paid up for. Uh, I've seen other people haul these and I wanted one. Like, I want one for myself, much less for my boxes. But that is, are these, um, they're dream, dream seekers is what they are called. There is, this is Luna. There is Bella, who is pink, and Hope, which is rainbow colored. And they are really soft dolls. Um, I've seen them anywhere. I think I saw someone haul them for $3 at my Walmart, because I went to three. One Walmart, they were still $14. The next Walmart, they were $12. And my third Walmart, they were nine. And I'm a sucker because this is like twice as much as I like to spend on a wow item, but I couldn't leave, especially this one there. She is a little ballerina. I love her skin tone because it seems neutral. I think a girl of any uh, nationality or skin tone can play with this doll and still see themselves. Like I'm very Caucasian and I am I can see myself in this doll, but she is also darker than um, the other one I picked up which is Bella. So I just, I really love this one. But I did pick up Bella and I, I got her out of the box just so you can see up close. She's really soft and kind of like a, a sock, uh, a sock puppet. She does have these really, really pretty wings which are attached to her. They're sewn in on the back. Her t-shirt, her clothes, is part of her fabric. Like it's not an additional t-shirt. You cannot take this one off. However, her little tutu is removable. And she also came with um, these little barrettes here on her. I clipped them to the ribbon in her hair so they don't get lost as I store her. Um, but she came with three clips and this really pretty butterfly comb. I think they're sweet. I think their faces are painted really sweet. I think their outfits, um, while her skirt is really short, it's still very innocent. Like I don't get um, unwholesome vibes from her. She's really cute. I did take one of her shoes off so you could see her feet are a little weird. Um, this is the foot if you take the shoe off. So in case you were wondering, um, the back of her head is the only place that I feel like is a little bit plasticky, and that's just so that her hair has something to hold on to. Um, she does have really pretty, really pretty hair. So these are really great quality. I think it's worth $9, um, but I wouldn't pay any more than that just because I personally want to make my money go as far as possible. So that is all the toys I have. Um, I do have some tips if you are out there and you're going Walmart clear or any store clearance shopping. Um, my first tip I actually got from Denise from D Rogers. So thanks Denise. And that is to take screenshots. So if you saw something in my haul today or any of my other hauls, take a screenshot while you're watching this video and that will help you remember what the packaging looks like when you go. Uh, because a lot of times there were some of these dolls still on the regular shelves that were not clearanced, 
which just means that these guys are last season and they're getting clearance out and the new dolls are coming in to take their place. It could look exactly the same, but maybe this packaging is a little darker purple on the new ones. So you're gonna wanna look for the pink box. That's not the case with this, I'm just giving an example. Um, and that's why screenshots can help so much. So thank you, Denise. My next pointer is to join some Facebook groups because ladies, there are so many of us out there, so many more than I imagined, and we are on Facebook and we are talking. And every day there are pointers about different clearance items at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aids, local grocery stores, Amazon, um, and we are sharing with each other all the time all the great deals that we are finding. Um, three of the my favorite ones that I am involved with, I um, subscribe to shoe boxes throughout the year. That one's probably the most active. There's also one called Pencil Granny and Friends, and that one focuses a lot more on school supplies, specifically pencil packs that we send in as fillers, but I get a lot of great pointers for when Ticonderoga pencils, pencils are on sale, or pencil sharpeners, or bouncy balls, little things that go in pencil packs. And my newest one that I have joined is one called Shoebox Crafts. Um, they focus a lot on sewing crafts, but I have gotten a lot of pointers on little things that they find on Amazon and share with each other. So that was tip number two, is to join Facebook groups. My next tip, this one is probably my most favorite, is watch other YouTubers. Subscribe to as many as you can. Um, if you are new to the community and you're not sure who to follow, um, on my channel, uh, if you actually go to the actual channel, there is there are little sections at the top that says like videos and playlists and comments and I don't remember, but one of them says channels. And if you click on that that says channels, there's a list of 12 other YouTubers that I watch on a regular basis. I watch more, but that's just the ones that I could feature on my channel to let you know that their channel is really good for shoebox shoebox everything, crafting, putting together hauls, unboxings. Subscribe to their channels because they, I've learned so much from them and you can too. Um, the next tip that I have is when you're out in the store, look for items that are out of place. Um, like that, like these cups, they were in the wrong aisle and they looked weird. So um, I scanned them. Also look for things that are maybe the wrong color. For example, these have fall leaves all over them and we're about to roll into spring merchandise. They're already putting out Easter items. So be on the lookout for things that are the wrong color um, and out of place. And then how you figure out, my next tip is how you figure out if it's on clearance, is to download the app of whatever store you're in. So I know that Dollar General has an app and I know that Walmart has an app. Um, and I'm not sure about the other stores. I think at Target, you still have to go to the actual kiosk and scan the items, but the Walmart app and the Dollar General app, you can scan the item right there in your hand and it will pop up with how much it costs in that specific store that you are in. Um, because in this store, this one was 10 cents, but in another store, it might still be full price. Um, so that is my tip, is to scan, scan, scan. Also, continue to scan things, like if you pick this up and you were like, $9 is way too much for me, scan it, because you never know, it could have, it could have dropped lower than they have had time to put a sticker on it for, which was the case with these um, LOL sunglasses. The sticker says $3, but it rang up $1, so. And the last tip that I have for you guys is don't be afraid to ask. That's how I got that amazing deal on the Thomas the Train. Um, just ask. It doesn't hurt to, um, if you find something out of place and it's not scanning right, or you know it's a Christmas item and it's scanning full price, or et cetera, whatever it is, to go up to customer service and just politely ask. Say, what what is this? Um, what is what is the actual price of this item? I, I couldn't get it to scan correctly. 
And then um, while they're scanning, just kind of say casually like, I'm getting these for charity and I would love, I would love for it to ring up on clearance. Sometimes it rings up on clearance and I'm like, great, that's a perfect price. Sometimes it rings up full price, but because I have informed them that I'm getting it for charity, they are willing to give it to me for whatever the discount should be. For example, Christmas items should be 90% off right now. So you never know. And if, if they say no, then I haven't lost anything um, except spreading the, the word about Operation Christmas Child. So that is all for my haul and my tips. And I thank you so much for watching. Um, I do want to talk to you guys for just a smidgen about some personal things going on in my life. So if you want to sign off now, that's totally fine. We've enjoyed having you. Thanks for watching this far and I'll see you next time. But if you want to stick around, um, I feel like you guys are my friends and I just kind of want to let you know what is going on in Matt Man and I's world. Um, I spend a lot of our budget <laughs> on Operation Christmas Child and I do have a large stockpile of items. Um, I don't have enough of everything that I need to make complete boxes, but I do have a lot of themed items. And we've just been talking lately. Um, I, I've mentioned this several times here and there, but we have been struggling with infertility now for um, we've been married for seven years, so for seven years, but really, really trying for almost four. And um, we're just to a place where we want to start putting um, more of our budget towards that, whatever that looks like. Um, if we're stepping into adoption, whether domestic or international, that can be very expensive. Um, if we are stepping into fostering to adopt, we want, I mean, we want this no matter what, but we just want to be a little bit more um, financially stable because we'll have to do a home study. Um, and when we have strangers looking into our budget, we just want to be very proud of what we have to present them so that they will be reassured that we are a stable, loving home for a child. And if we are going to step into more um, medical interventions, those are very, very expensive. So I'm telling you guys this, A, because you're my friends, and B, because there will probably be a lot less hauls um, in the future. I will still continue to um, buy the things that are just, like, Today, I just bought some pins on Amazon for $1.98, and I'm like, I can't. I have to buy these. I need pins. This is a great deal. So there will still be things that I'm purchasing. Nothing will change with how much love I put into my boxes and how much I am preparing for them. I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys why the hauls are going to become a lot more um, few and far between. So in case you're wondering, that is what is going on in our world. And if you wanna pray for us about that, I would be very, very grateful. Um, we're just, we're ready. We're so ready to step into this next chapter in our lives and um, all the prayer in the world will help everything will help. So thank you guys so much for your love and your support and watching all of these crazy videos that I make. Um, I'm serious. Go, go find other YouTubers that are doing the same thing because our community is awesome. And I guess that's it for now. I will see you next time. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.